Hey cuties! So today I'm going to be doing a nail tutorial. I haven't done a nail tutorial in months and months. Here is the nail tutorial that I came up with today. I hope you guys like it. I love it so much. It's so dramatic. It almost looks like leopard from far away and then close up it's like bam, heart city. Oh heart city, I love you. So this is what this looks like. Um, it's really, really easy. I don't do nail tutorials pretty much ever that are difficult because I can't do something that's difficult for nails. Definitely believe me that this is really easy. You're just gonna need a few nail polish colors and a toothpick. Before I get asked, I know I'm gonna get asked where I got this shirt. I got this at Value Village. I've actually been looking for a censored shirt for so long. Finally found one at VV. That's it. And then you can get this gorgeous nail design. I hope you guys like it and enjoy it. And here is the tutorial. I'm going to be painting over my gel nails for this look because I'm bored already with just the white tips. Nail polish I'll be using is from silkypolish.com and I'm in love with not only their colors but their whole brand because they do not test on animals, they are vegan, cruelty free and packed with eco-friendly materials. I will be applying a base coat first so my nail polish can last longer and prevent staining from the polish to my nails. Now for a bright and fun orange, this one is Dupian Tang and I'll be placing the polish randomly over my nails. A bright chickadee yellow next. This is in Tussa Sun Glow, again placing it in a random spot beside the orange. Lastly, an amazing pinky fuchsia in Voile Serenade. They are killing me with the names here. I can't pronounce French if my life depended on it. I'll be placing all of these colors all over my nails in sort of a patchwork design. This does not have to be neat at all because we'll be covering the harsh edges later on. Just focus on getting the colors on your nails and the positioning of the colors. Alternate colors and place them in any design at random all over your nails just to get the color on. Now with the black polish, or you can choose any color you like, I will dot this on a piece of scrap paper and take a toothpick for the application. Dip the toothpick into the polish and I create the hearts by tilting the toothpick sideways a bit and just making a small stroke one way and doing the exact same thing the other way in the opposite direction. This technique is super easy, but make sure that you're placing the hearts where the colors meet so that the background doesn't look like it has harsh edges where the colors intersect. You can do big or small hearts and as many as you like to cover the lines of the colors so it doesn't look harsh underneath. This will make the whole look flow together and I just realized that this look almost looks like little bats or birds flying away. And this is the completed look. It is really easy and I hope you guys enjoyed it. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a great day and if you try this out, definitely tweet me a picture or leave it as video response down below. Either way, I love you guys and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys!